Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lindsay and I'm so excited that you're here watching this video today. We are back with more regular content. The last video I posted was a little bit of a life update and relationship story on how my fiance RJ proposed to me and also how we met three years ago. So if you want to watch that, I'll be sure to link it up here. But getting into today's video because that's what y'all are here for. And it is a try on haul for all things denim. Yay! I'm so excited. I haven't done a denim haul yet. So this is something a little bit new for me. But last week on my Instagram, I put up a little question box and asked all my followers for some advice on where to find some new jeans. I have had the same jeans for a long time, some since literally high school. So aka it was time for an upgrade and time for a wardrobe refresh. I mean, I'm sure everyone at this point has heard skinny jeans are out, blah, 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 whatever. I still love skinny jeans. I did buy some more skinny jeans, but I also bought some new trendy er jeans. We are going to see how those look on me because I haven't tried them on yet. So y'all will be here to see it first with me and see whether or not they're cute or if they look absolutely atrocious, but I will be sure to put all links and sizing in the description box below. So that way, if you want to check out some of these items for yourself, you can, and hopefully can give you a good little like sizing reference guidelines. I pretty much range anywhere from a 24 to a 26 in jeans. The ones that I got today are all 24s and 25s. So I'll be sure to call out which ones are which. So the other thing I wanted to mention before we jump right in is more of like the theme of this denim haul. So the brands that I'm going to show y'all are more of designer brands, I would say, or more expensive brands. So we've got Rag and Bone, Frame, Girlfriend, A Goldie, and I found them at Nordstrom and Revolve, but I did want to call that out. So if you are looking for an affordable denim try and haul from me, please let me know in the comments below and drop some of your favorite affordable denim brands that you want me to try on next. That way I can do that video. We can do a little compare contrast, see which ones are worth it and see which ones are not worth it. So I um, am really excited to start trying some of these bad boys on. Let's jump right in. We are starting off with the jeans that I actually currently have on, have been wearing all day. So this is a good indication of how they kind of like stretch throughout the day after you've been wearing them. So these are rag and bone and they are the Kate mid-rise ankle skinny jeans in the color Mina. Literally the world's longest title, but I got these ones in a size 24. They are nice and stretchy. They feel really good on. They are a mid-rise, so as you can see, here's my little belly button, and they come up right below that. So this little crop top will show a little bit of stomach, but nothing too crazy. It doesn't feel like the waist really like pinches in. I'd say the one thing that I struggle the most with with finding a good pair of jeans is the fact that I do have a smaller waist, but then I do have some hips and a little bit of a booty. So a lot of times when I'm finding jeans, I'll find that they fit really tight in the thighs and my hips, but then they're super loose in the waist. So finding a pair of jeans that fits me in both the waist and hips and butt comfortably is like, oh, amazing. So the fact that these ones do it is phenomenal. And there's nothing really super special going on here. They were just kind of a nice dark gray color. Nothing crazy going on back here. I think they do accentuate the tush nicely. So we love to see that. These ones are really great. They're super comfortable. They haven't done a whole lot of weird knee bunching. You can see they've like folded up a little bit at the knees throughout the day, but nothing crazy. I've got like a couple little butt creases. But I mean, they don't really feel like they've stretched out too much, which I really, really appreciate because I hate when I put on a pair of jeans in the beginning of the day and they fit awesome. They look awesome. They're so cute. And I'm like, yes, let's go crush this day. And by the time it hits lunch, they're like stretched out. So I'm hiking them up every five seconds. The knees get to like elephant knees and they just look awful and you don't feel good after that. So finding a pair of jeans that like lasts and keeps their elasticity throughout the day. Am I using the right words? I have no idea. That is a key for me. So that's kind of the overview on these ones. Now let me take y'all to my mirror so I can show you the link. Welcome to my mirror. So wanted to show y'all the length of these jeans. So they are a mid-rise ankle skin. 
skinny, like I said in the beginning. So they are hitting me right above my ankles down here. You can see that. So they are right above my ankles on the side here. They do have this cool little zipper detail, which I like. So if you wanted to, and it's functional, so you can zip it all the way down or zip it further up. Like, I mean, you could go all the way if you really wanted to, but I personally think that it looks cute just like kind of a little bit zipped up. I just wore them with sneakers today and I thought that it was like a perfect little look. And like I said before, they're just like a great classic gray color. Nothing crazy going on here, but I'm a big fan of them. I just think they're so comfortable. Like I said before, they're super stretchy, so like we can do all sorts of activities and I don't feel like I'm going to rip them. Overall, just a really great, comfortable ankle skinny. So yay. As far as size wise goes, the 24 does seem to fit me really well. So I'd probably stick with a 24 in Rag and Bone. Although I say that and I have a 25 that I'm going to show y'all next. So I mean, you kind of just have to try them all on and see which sizes fit you and which styles the best. But overall, I'm keeping these. Obviously, I wore them today. So and I already took all the tags off and everything. So these ones are staying in my closet and I'm super excited about them. Next, we're gonna talk about the other pair of jeans that I'm 100% for sure going to keep. I've been wearing these basically nonstop since I put them on my body. And these ones are from Frame and they are the Le High Skinny Hidalgo is the color slash style, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of hard to understand because they have tons of Le High Skinny, but then they have different nuances, like some have ripped knees. These ones have like a little bit of a distressed bottom. And so I think it's kind of like little nuances like that slash the color. So these ones are the Hidalgo and I did get these ones in a size 25 and I feel like they are perfect. These ones are also super soft material. Like the fabric just feels great on my body. So comfortable to wear. They're nice and stretchy. I wore them to a football game and in this Texas heat, which kind of was insane, but they weren't too hot because they're not super thick. So I really liked that about them. And then I do love this little distress detail at the bottom, which I'll show you more when I am in the mirror. These ones are a little bit higher waisted. So they come up basically like at my belly button, I want to say, which is nice because I feel like that's, you know, where the smallest part of my waist is. So just nicely sits there. doesn't feel like it's too tight by any means, but then it also fits my butt and hips and thighs nice and well. We love to see that. And just overall are super great classic jeans. They really only have a little bit of distressing at the bottom, which is great. So if you can't wear rips in your jeans or something like that, these are a perfect option. And I just love this like perfect medium wash blue. I think it's beautiful. It has a little bit of fading right over the tops of the thighs and towards the knee, but overall just like a perfect, what I would call an all American jean. So we love to see that. And I will show you guys the length now. All right, so looking at the length on these ones, I did just cuff them up one, but if I put them down, you can see that little distress detail right on the ankle there. And then this one has just a tiny bit like on the little side over there. So nothing crazy as far as distressing goes. I think it's cute to just like roll them up one cuff. And I feel like that hits perfectly right above my ankle bones. They look super cute with sneakers, or I think you could potentially even dress them up with maybe some like wedges. If those are still in style, I don't even know what's happening anymore but these jeans are like the perfect high rise to wear like a crop top with this where you would show maybe like half an inch of skin but like nothing crazy so i think these jeans are so adorable they're honestly the perfect length i am five five and a half so i don't necessarily have a huge issue with finding like jeans that are the right length but these ones really just hit home i also have not washed them since i bought them um and i've worn them probably three times so this is kind of what they look like after they have been worn a couple times stretched out a little bit so they're holding up really nicely aren't bunching too much don't feel like they've stretched out too much at all so these ones are fabulous Yay! We are just moving right along. So this is the last pair of skinny jeans that I got. And this is also the last pair of jeans that I've already tried on. So I know that they fit me well and I do like them, but I think they're really similar to the frame ones that I just tried on, which is why I haven't taken the tags off these ones yet. TBD on whether or not I'm gonna keep them. But 
These are actually the same style as the gray rag and bones that I showed you. They are also rag and bone, tape, mid rise, ankle skinny. These ones are actually a size 25. This fabric seems to be a little less stretchy as the gray fabric. So that's why I ended up getting a 25 in these ones, whereas the gray ones I wore a size 24 because they were stretchier. But this color is called Harper. The gray ones were Mina. These ones are Harper. And they're super cute, honestly. They are a great, just classic medium wash jeans. Really no dramatic fading going on, maybe like slightly through the thigh and knee area. Overall, fit super well. I'm a big fan. And the main difference is the ankle and like the bottom, the cuff. This, these ones have like a little frayed cutoff bottoms whereas the gray ones had an actual seam bottom and so did the frame ones as well. So um, that's kind of the main difference between these ones. And I'm just not sure if I want another pair of like ankle skinnies um, considering I'm trying to branch out and do some things that are maybe a little bit more out of my comfort scone, zone, scone. I wanna do things that are out of my comfort scone. Um, that sounds delicious right now, a scone, but I do really like these ones, so I wanted to show them to y'all. They're uh, just like a great classic jean, so let me show you the bottoms. Here are these cute jeans. So like I said, the ankle is really the main difference, so that kind of like cut off frayed ends is kind of the, the style on these ones, and it's not like a perfectly straight cut off either. It's kind of at an angle, so um, they just kind of a little, a little bit more distressed that way, but overall a great pair of jeans again aren't like hugging too tight on my waist here or my hips here, but they do come down a little bit lower than my belly button because these ones are mid rise versus high rise, but rag and bone overall, I'd say definitely a worth it type of jean and brand of jean. In my opinion, I think they're super comfortable, super soft. They seem to hold up really well throughout the day. So big fan of the rag and bone jeans. I just don't know that I need two medium wash ankle skinny jeans um, that are just so similar. And I tend to, I like the frame ones a little bit better. So um, that is these ones. Now moving on to the jeans that I've yet to try on. Dun, dun, dun. And more of like the, the mom style size 25 y'all Ugh. okay let's see let's see what these look like all right y'all we're starting in the mirror because we just yeah we're just maybe gonna just do mirror for the rest of these honestly it's easier for y'all to see and for me to talk so um I had to change my top because you know you have to go more like 90s trendy theme and that other top just was not working with this style of jean. So these are from a Goldie and they are the 90s mid-rise loose fit. And um, I think they're the color Fallout. So I love a Goldie shorts. I have two pairs of a Goldie shorts. I am now completely blanking on the name of those shorts, but they're like the super popular ones that everyone loves. And I also love them. I wear a size 25 in those shorts and they fit me perfectly, like perfectly. So I'm kind of confused on why the 25 in these jeans are so large. Like, like what? I just feel like these are gonna like fall off of me. I mean, not really, but like what? That is giving me no butt whatsoever. That is a flat butt if I've ever seen one. And I know it's not flat. I work hard for that. I do my squats for that butt. So just like right off the bat, they just feel overall big. But then we get down to the thighs and first of all, the crotch is like way down here. Like if they were gonna be at my like actual, you know, the right height, they'd be up here and they'd be even bigger. So I'm kind of confused on what's happening there. Hold on, let's shimmy them back down to where they were. So um, yeah, the crotch is like weirdly low. I don't hate the rips on these ones. I think they hit in a pretty, okay point on my knees a lot of times rips on my thighs just like end up getting really stretched out and look really really bad like caged sausages so these ones I don't hate but I just I don't know that this style is working for me 
in any sense of the word. I feel like it makes me look several sizes larger than I actually am. And then the length is like kind of a weird length. Like, I don't know, I guess maybe I should go put some shoes on and see what they look like. Ew, what is this? What is this? I don't, I don't know. We're not even gonna put shoes on. I just have to take these off. These ones are not doing it. I did get a size 24 in the other A Goldie jeans, so let's try those ones on and see if they're any better. Okay, <laughs> up next, these are the A Goldie Lana vintage inspired straight jeans wow okay so they don't look horrible on like when i'm videoing but if y'all could feel how tight these are actually this will show you can you guys see that little like that is not good um it's also doing a whole lot of nothing for my booty as well um and just this whole thigh area is so tight and they are not stretchy whatsoever um, again, the back is like a little bit loose. These are 24. Um, and this is kind of a traditional issue that I have, like I was telling you guys about earlier, where the thigh and butt area will be way too tight. And then the waistband will be really loose and we'll kind of do this like gaping thing in the back. And honestly, I think the material is a big cause of that. So these ones are a lot stiffer of a material. Like I said, they're not stretchy whatsoever. And it's just a bummer because I actually like don't mind these at all, but I wouldn't be able to sit down in them. Like I would like absolutely bust them open if I tried to sit down in them. And I think a 25 would just end up being huge in the waist and maybe fit me better in the thighs, but I wouldn't be able to wear them because they'd be like gaping so much in the back here. So kind of bummed about these ones. I, I actually really like how they fit as far as like how they're tighter on the thighs and then they just go down straight. And then I do like the cutouts on the knees as well. I think those are super cute and in. And then the length fits really nicely on these ones, but I can't like, it feels like I'm just like suctioned in here and it's just not a comfortable not a comfortable feeling whatsoever so these ones will also be going home sadly i think that this style is maybe just made for someone with like a little bit less hips than me but i don't know i don't know i'm sad because these ones are actually really cute y'all <laughs> i feel like i am back in like the early 2000s when low-rise jeans were super in <laughs> these ones are like very low-rise and i think the reason they feel extra low-rise is because they're also that super stiff material like the ones that i just um had on the a goldies but these are girlfriend jeans and they are the Haley low-rise they did say low-rise and i bought them anyway <laughs> slim boot with a cutout down here. So I did put some heels on so that way you could see the cutout. And honestly, I'm obsessed with everything from like mid thigh down. Again, same problem that I'm having with a Goldie's. They just are really tight through this thigh area and hips. And then the waistband is super big back here. I don't know, like what is this gapping back here? Also, where did my butt go? I'm so sad. What? It's like literally flat, literally flat. This is doing absolutely nothing for the tush. Nothing, nothing. So anyway, they're really cute from, like I said, the mid thigh down. I'm obsessed with this cutout detail and this like slim boot look with this cutout detail, but everything else that's happening is just not good. Again, my crotch is like, it's like riding real low down there. Um, and that's probably because I can't hike them up any higher because the thighs are so damn tight. So yeah, these ones will also be going back. And so basically my whole entire Revolve Cool Girl haul was a tragedy. So yeah, I guess I'll be sticking with the skinny jeans. Don't hype me. But you heard it here first. You saw it here first. These just aren't doing it for me. I also feel like it completely like cuts my legs off. Like they, they look so short because the crotch is so low. So I don't know. These ones are super cute. I wish these ones would have fit me. Like I was so excited about this little detail down here and to have some cute black jeans that I could wear with heels. But um, yeah, they're just not cutting it. So um, 
yeah, that's that. <laughs> what is this outfit? I need to take it off. <laughs> and that is a wrap on my designer denim try on haul. And I'm not gonna lie, as I was taking photos of the A Goldie 90s loose fit jeans, I started to like them a little bit more. So I think I might try to order these ones in a size 24 and see if I like that size better and maybe try to get a size long. I just like my jeans to be a little bit longer. So I might try to find those and see if I like that a little bit better because I do want a pair of kind of the more like loose fit trendier jeans. I think I'm also going to go on a hunt to see if I can find any other black jeans that have that little slit on the leg because I think those are so fabulous. I just need them in a little bit more of a stretchy material so that way they can fit more nicely over my thighs and booties but then still cinch in the waist. So TBD on both of those but overall I think the stretchier softer denim just works for me a lot better that way it has a little bit more give in my thighs and hips area and then still has a nice fit around my waist. So I'd say rag and bone and frame are definitely winners of this try on haul. A Goldie questionable girlfriend probably won't order from them again unless I find that they have a stretchier material but I hope this was super helpful for you guys to see some different styles on my body see what works what doesn't work what I like what I don't like and just gives you guys a good little jumping off point for what designer jeans might be worth it and which ones I personally really enjoy so like I said at the beginning all my size measurements and uh, pricing and links and all the good stuff is in the description below if you do want to check out any of the jeans that I tried on today and definitely shoot some recommendations in the comments below I love doing these try on haul videos and actually have an Abercrombie try on haul coming up soon I know that was a recommendation on one of my past videos so thank you thank you thank you for that recommendation and I'm super excited to have that video coming soon for all of you but if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button that way you won't miss any future try on hauls from me and i will see you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye it won't go away i've got that feeling rushing through my body i know that